good morning from Ross and I. He said hello, so it's time to put him away. We know how he gets in the way during these vlogs. I am heading over to my old work this morning. It's literally like 10 past seven and I'm up and at it. I like to drop off all my makeup to the girls over there, like stuff that I've decluttered or new things that I get that I'm just not going to use. There's also one of the girls there is super fair like me. So it's really good because I can give her all the really fair stuff that I don't want. And I know that it's gonna get used. <laughs> and then after that, I'm just going to stop into the shopping center. I need to return these shoes that I bought for Clinton that he doesn't like. And I'll probably just have a little browse while I'm there. Then hopefully I can get some filming done today. And I've also got a lot to fill you guys in on. It's just been a hectic couple of weeks. When is it not? Like, when is it not? But I've been feeling it emotionally and I'll let you in on a bit of it. I'm just in that Target having a little browse at some of the clothes. I love this jacket. I actually got one recently from Princess Polly that looks exactly the same. It's $60 but with 25% off at the moment. And look at these matching shorts. <gasps> I've got to try these on. They've also got this really cute blazer, like a pinstripe, and then matching pants. There's another matching blazer and pants set. Very cute. We've got like a vest with matching pants. And the white as well. And there's even a black blazer. So I'm going to try this one on because I've been after a black blazer for a while. Loving these shoes. I think I might get the nude pair. They also come in black. They're actually very comfy as well. Only $30. Instagram that Emco is on sale and look what I have finally found. I am getting one of these. Okay, so I'm back from the shops. I end up picking up these shoes from Target. They were $30 and they're actually really comfortable. I cannot do flat, thin little shoes. My back can't handle it. <laughs> I also got the Emco Beauty Contour Wand in light medium. And then I got the black blazer from Target. So let me try it on. It was $50 and with the 25% off, it come down to like 37. I got a size 12 so that it's a nice oversized fit. And it's like a linen blend. Perfect, we got pockets. I feel like it's a staple, you know? I needed a staple. I did love the green pants and the little shorts as well, but I needed to go back and get different sizes and I just couldn't be bothered. And I'm really just trying to get like good staples for my wardrobe at the moment, not just buy like everything I see. So I just thought I'd stick to the blazer because a black blazer was on my list. I did get a lot of the housework done yesterday, but I just want to quickly tidy up a few things in the kitchen because is there a better feeling than just being in a clean house? Like, I don't think so. I'm also just going to take out some meat for dinner tonight. I usually like to do up a meal plan for the week and then I go and do my groceries. So I did that yesterday and tonight we're having spaghetti bolognese with some veggies on the side, nice and easy. I just dumped everything in the fridge yesterday when we got home from grocery shopping. So I really need to give this a clean because <laughs> this ain't it. These are the James Squire ginger beers. They're alcoholic ones. They are so good because I am allergic to wheat. I have fully, well, like I'm trying my best to stop eating gluten. Um, and so I can't drink beer anymore. Not that I drink it a lot, but you know when like it's a hot day and you want a beer. So I swapped to these ginger beers and they're really, really good with a bit of lime and they don't make me as bloated. It's probably because of the wheat. <laughs> 
These containers that I use are just from Kmart, of course. I like to have one for dairy and then one for like all the just random stuff so it's not just spread all throughout the fridge. I am such an olive fiend. Like I could literally eat this whole jar. I love olives so much. And I know they're a very like acquired taste. A lot of people think they're too strong, but holy shit, I love an olive. <laughs> A lot of my fruit and veg I like to keep in these Tupperware containers. I'm not sure what their actual name is, but they've got this lid on the top here. Something to do with air, keeps your veggies fresher for longer. And so it's got all the veggies here and it tells you like what circle to put on on the lid. So I just like to put some paper towel in there to help with any condensation. I'm going to have the rest of this kale with dinner tonight, so that'll be fine in there. I'll leave the bok choy in the bag. And I've just got a little bit of rocket and cucumber that I'll just leave how it is. And then whatever plastic is pretty clean, I will go and put in my little stash that I take back to the shop. You know how they have like those plastic recycling bins? There we go. That is looking much better. <laughs> so this is our laundry and we left this wall blank because we were going to put a dryer here. But turns out these new dryers are too heavy to hang on the wall. <laughs> so that's annoying. So instead we were thinking of maybe putting some shelving here, but I thought what about like a hanging rack? Do you guys have hanging space in your laundry and do you find it really helpful when it comes to doing laundry? I'm just not sure what to put there. Like I could just put some shelves with some like decorative pieces on it because I've got plenty of cupboard space here that I keep all of the laundry stuff in. So I don't think I really need shelving, but hanging space might be good. Or should I just put like a mirror there? I don't know, give me some ideas. What do you think? All right, so let me have a little chat about what has been going on because I'm just in one of those stages again where I feel super overwhelmed. And I feel like this comes around pretty regularly for me. <laughs> and then like, I put myself down and think like, why can't I deal with it? But when I tell my counselor the things that's going on, she's like, Tanika, like that explains itself. like you're doing your best, you're trying, like it's no wonder you feel overwhelmed. So I beat myself up pretty easily when I can't keep up. So it's nice when my counselor actually says like, it's okay. <laughs> Cause I go see her every fortnight and it just, it's a lifesaver, like it's so good. But lately I just feel like my family have kind of just been going through a multitude of things. And if you didn't know, I am the eldest of six kids. Um, and as the eldest, I feel a lot of responsibility for my siblings. And so when they're going through something, I really take it on as well because I just want to make sure they're okay. At the end of the day, I just, I just want them to be okay. And so, I find it difficult to like hear they have a problem and just be like, all right, well, cool, you deal with it, I'm here. <laughs> like I wanna be like really involved and really on top of them and how can I help? And yeah, so it's just been hard for me to, like I'm trying to learn to step back and just give what I can because at the end of the day, it just leaves me feeling very overwhelmed, but I take on their emotions a lot and I think that just takes a toll. <laughs> so I've kind of just like taken a bit of a step back from everyone the last couple of weeks and just not listen to anything that I, I don't need to right now. Like I've taken a bit of a step back from my friends and they've been super understanding and like they're still really looking out for me, but I just, yeah, it's just been a lot lately. And then Clinton has been having a really shitty time 
with his job. So we made the decision that he will quit. So he handed in his resignation last week. We wouldn't usually quit a job without having another job lined up because just hello, responsibilities. <laughs> but we feel like in this time and like this situation, it's necessary. I don't even care if he doesn't have another job lined up. He just needs to leave for his own mental health. And so he has applied for jobs but this is his last week of work and like he's got holiday pay and stuff built up so like it'll be fine like I'm, I'm glad that we are in a position that he can quit and we will be okay you know for for a little bit but um yeah that has just been like a major emotional roller coaster for the both of us i'm trying to support him through it all and i'm also trying to support my family support myself just live day to day i got quite sick like a week ago i just think my body was so run down like i don't know life just gets a lot sometimes and as much as i try and handle it and think i can do it all like i just you just can't <laughs> it's hard clinton and i would also like to start a family in the future and so we're starting to look at steps you know we both need to take to get that going <laughs> make sure we're both healthy and whatever so that's in the back of my mind as well and so i'm just trying to like make sure i am not stressed <laughs> trying to keep calm and just focus on my cycle and ugh, all that comes with that so yeah i just feel like there's a lot going on and it gets overwhelming sometimes moments like this though i do try and just keep on top of being organized so like i redid a to-do list yesterday and I've got like priority, other, house and social media and I'm just taking it slow. Like I think I put a lot of pressure on myself to get everything done. Like it needs to get done, get it done, get it done. And then when I don't get it done, I'm like, oh my God, why didn't you get it done? You had so much time. Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so I'm trying to be more gentle and not as harsh on myself, be there for people, be there for myself. It's a whole thing, but that's just what's been going on and how I've been feeling lately. So days like today, I'm really grateful for that I can just take it easy and just slowly get through what I need to get through while also relaxing, you know? Browsing at the shops was just like oh, peaceful for me. <laughs> but yeah, so that is that. <laughs> Let me show you the photo frames that I have ready next step is they need to be hung on the wall so this has been like a few months <laughs> worth of work you know finally buying frames finally printing photos finally putting them in the frames i am thinking about getting someone like putting it on air tasker to get someone to put them up because we want to put them up on this wall here like clinton can do it but i just don't want to put that stress on him if it doesn't need to be you know but anyway I printed a bunch of wedding photos, all different sizes. I figured out how I want them hung up on the wall. And I just think they are going to look so good up here. Like, look at that nice big blank wall. It's asking for something. I think I talked about this in my last vlog, but this lounge was like our interim lounge. And we actually really like having it here, but we don't like the color. So I don't know if we're gonna keep it, or like look for something else because freaking sofas are expensive man and we got that for free <laughs> also that chair needs to go because clinton got me this new office chair how sleek are the wheels i love it and then this stuff here is for my beauty room i'm planning on doing a little update in there so i got a nice rug and this bookshelf from kmart i just want to get a new desk I'm going for that light timber look. I think the dark timber I have in there is just too much at the moment. Right, yet again, my makeup room needs attention. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Who did this? Oh my God. Okay, okay. Let's just start by putting some things away, shall we? Mm. Yes. Okay, okay. Lately, I've been mixing these two blushes from Emco Beauty, Dusk and Rose Glow. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This here is my box of empties. 
like she's a big box and she's full. I think I'm going to have to split this into two YouTube videos because <sighs> that's a hell of a lot of stuff. And I feel like I need a little bit of a better system here. I've got new makeup that I'm trying or want to try. This Batiste dry shampoo was recently sent to me, so I want to try that. This is makeup that I have decluttered. Like, I want to try it again, make sure I'm 100% I want to declutter it. I've got some new makeup in here from Mecca. I did do a haul over on my TikTok if you want to see what I got. I think maybe I need to reorganize these drawers because this is usually where I put the makeup that I'm trying. So maybe I need to put some of this into here and just tidy this up because it's stressing me out, man. I also got some more of these clear drawers from Kmart because I want to redo this top drawer. This thing I have in here, look at it, it is so manky. It's from Ikea. It's like a cutlery holder. I just cut it down a bit. But I think these would go nicely in there. I'm just filming some TikTok content. I was gifted some pieces from Petal and Pup to do a TikTok haul. And I just want to show you this one piece. And then you have to go look at my TikTok for the rest. Ignore the bra straps, but come on. Look at this dress. <gasps> this is what the bottom looks like. Oh my God. Isn't it pretty? Ooh. They did give me a discount code as well, so I'll put that on the screen. But definitely go and check out my TikTok if you want to see everything that I got. I'm just going to steam everything before I do my haul because it makes everything look so much better. No one likes creases in their clothes. And I hate more than anything ironing, but this steamer is the best thing I've ever bought. It was literally like $50 or $60 from Kmart. And I just leave it set up here in the spare bathroom. And she's just always ready to go. I've just finished filming my Petal and Pup haul and I've made an even bigger mess <laughs> down there. So I'm just going to put on an episode of Real Housewives and tidy up a bit in here. Any Real Housewives fans out there, I'm up to season five, um, the reunion of New York. And Aviva's dad, what on actual earth? Every time I watch an episode, I'm on Reddit, like reading other people's opinions. It just blows my mind. I think this reunion will be pretty interesting. Ramona has had some ups and downs. Like what's with her? I really like um, Heather, the new girl. And Carol's all right. Aviva, I'm just, I don't know. But anyway. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen, but I received this amazing PR package from Elf the other week. Look at all these goodies. Oh my God, I have so much to try. So let me know if you want to see a bunch of it in a YouTube video, because I will definitely do that. I'm so excited to try this e.l.f. powder. Taylor Wynn has been raving about it and I trust her reviews like no one else. I just went to tip all those little dissolvable things out of this box here. I don't know if this is like new. I know this looks so disgusting, but those little things that come in the package are actually dissolvable. So you just put them down the sink. And yeah, it looks pretty nasty, but they do go down the sink. <laughs> this makeup I have here is like my backup. So I'm just going to have a quick look through my drawers and pull out some of my favorite products that I have used up. Already I know that I have used up a full one of these. It's in my empties just over there. And I know you may be like, I saw one in the drawer. This is actually the Maybelline Glass Glow. The um, bottle was really shit, so I put it in here. So I'm going to put another one of these into my collection. I also need another one of the Rimmel Insta Fix and Go. I think they have repackaged this since. It doesn't look like that anymore. I also need... Ooh, one of these, my favorite L'Oreal Infallible Concealers. I mean, <laughs> primers. Definitely don't need any more mascaras open. I do need another one of these concealers. Love that. How is this one going? Oh, I actually have two shades in there, so I'll leave this in the backups. I think I could probably use a new brow pencil. Got a few of the Essence ones backed up. Love them. Okay, I've got so many mascaras in here. And for something I wear every day, I really don't go through them that fast. Here's a brow pencil. Okay, I think I might add these two back into my collection. 
All right, that feels good to actually get into this because I feel like it just sits here. Like, look at all of these Model Prefer powders that I have. Like, I bought so many. You really don't need this much backup makeup, but whenever there was a sale, I would just lose my mind, so. It's like 3.30 in the afternoon and I'm finally having some lunch. <laughs> Vegemite and cheese on toast. I think after this, I might just sit down and edit those TikToks I made today, send them off to the brands. And then I also just need to email a few other brands and just let them know that like products arrived or I like to send them the stories that I post that included the product. So yeah, I think my egg chair outside is calling my name and I will get that done. Why are you filming yourself? It's <laughs> not my vlog. Oh. <laughs> Fucking radio show. <laughs> it's just a really good sandwich. I just made a toasty for breakfast and I didn't offer Clinton one because he was on the phone. And then when he saw me cutting it, he's like, oh, all right, like he's showing off. Like, where's my sandwich? Oh, he makes me laugh. But anyway, it's the next day. I forgot to end my vlog last night. We literally just chilled on the couch. Didn't even cook dinner. Clinton had a toasty and I had a cup of noodles. <laughs> but I have today off work again. I've just re-curled my hair and I'm going to film. I have some content to make for a brand and then I'm going to do a few TikToks. So I've got this Charlotte Tilbury mascara to test out. It's in the shade Dream Pop, which is like a really beautiful reddish brown. You know, I would never usually buy a bloody high-end mascara, but I had a gift card at Mecca and look at that shade. Like it's just beautiful. Recently, I picked up the Revlon Color Stay. I haven't used this for years, so I want to test it out again. And also by Revlon, I was sent their new Color Stay Matte Light Crown Lipstick. All the shades are beautiful, so I want to do a little video trying all those on. I think I might end the vlog here anyway. I tried to make this one a little bit longer than my last, so I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you aren't already, come and follow me over on TikTok and Instagram. I will have them linked down below. I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.